The defensive pistol market continues to be strong. Here's what's new in pistols for 2024, from clones of yesteryear's guns to the latest high-tech wonders of modern technology. Texas' newest pistol manufacturer is on a mission to deliver a Wonder 9 that undercuts most manufacturers price-wise. Rose Martin is aiming toward the hottest section of the market with the RM1C, a compact, striker-fired 9mm Luger chambered pistol designed for concealed carry and personal defense. Built with a polymer grip frame complete with what the company calls its responsive grip texturing, the Ross Martin RM1C is designed to be controllable as well as concealable. The pistol is equipped with a 4-inch barrel and is topped with a milled slide capable of accepting a micro red dot sight. A Trigicon RMR compatible plate ships with each pistol and additional mounting plates are going to be available on the Ross Martin site. Rose Martin claims its RM1C has withstood stress testing of up to 50,000 rounds, and a number of holster companies have come on board to offer suitable carry setups. Beretta and Langdon Tactical updated the flagship 92 platform, introducing the 92XI Squalo with a host of performance upgrades, which looks like everything customers have been asking for. Upgrades include a buttery smooth single-action-only Extreme S-Trigger with a slick DLC coating, an extended takedown lever that doubles as a thumb rest to control recoil, a flared magazine well for speed reloads, and unique Hogue grips. This pistol gets the same fiber optic front sight, optic cut slide, and accessory rail as the Beretta 92XI. The Tony Systems Magwell works in conjunction with the three included Metgar mags and Tony Systems extensions to allow a 22 plus 1 capacity while staying within USPSA legal dimensions. The option for MRDS optics mounting makes this a high-performing, reliable choice for competition right out of the box. When the ATF's pistol brace ruling was vacated, everyone had their eyes on the return of AR pistols. Arrow saw another opportunity, and the result is the Solace pistol line. At their core, the pistols are the same as the Solace bolt-action rifles, but are now available in a compact format. The pistols are bedded in a 7.5-inch Solace Competition chassis that features a 1913 rail at the rear for attaching pistol braces as well as ARCA and M-Lock compatible forends that have M-Lock slots at 3, 6, and 9 o'clock. Solace pistols are initially being offered in five chambering options, including 300 BLK, 5.56 NATO, 308 Winchester, 6.5 Creedmoor, and 8.6 BLK and each of those can be ordered in one of eight different finish colors. Barrel lengths vary by caliber, but they all sport the Solace short action and have a 60-degree bolt throw, a three-lug interchangeable bolt head, dual ejectors, and a cock-on-lift bolt. The cherry on top is each Solace pistol is finished with a Trigger Tech single-stage trigger. This handcrafted 1911 chambered in 10mm and incorporating a compensator is bound to win fans of the enduring 10mm cartridge, Nighthawk Custom has utilized a recoil-taming single-port compensator, a bull barrel, and a full-length guide rod that adds weight to the front of the pistol to reduce recoil, making the 10mm far more pleasant to shoot. In addition, the Firehawk has a modified government-length slide that's been shortened from 5 inches to 3.9 inches. It employs a commander-length spring and reverse plug, which maintain the standard stroke of a 5-inch 1911, contributing to the pistol's reliability and ease of use. The one-piece magwell allows for swift, efficient reloads crucial in high-stress or competitive scenarios. The result is a custom handgun that looks and feels like a classic government-sized 1911 while providing more recoil and muzzle control for faster transitions and follow-up shots. The Firehawk is also offered a 9mm and 45 ACP. Manufactured by Radical Arms and imported by G-Force Arms, the RPX-9 Exodus is a handgun the company says combines top-tier reliability with unprecedented affordability. The RPX-9 is a polymer frame, striker-fired, semi-automatic handgun chambered in 9mm Luger. Safety is provided by a trigger blade safety, firing pin safety, and an extractor that extends to indicate that a cartridge is in the chamber. Its frame has an integrated magwell and an M1913 Picatinny rail on its dust cover. The slide is made of 4140 steel, has a unique profile with front and rear serrations, and is given a black QPQ finish. Sights are a fixed rear and a front post with fiber optic inserts. It's compatible with many Glock OEM and aftermarket parts, including sights and trigger units. Magazines are compatible with Glock 19 and larger size versions, 
The RPX-9 Exodus is compatible with PMAG 15 GL9 magazines and ships with two 15-round Glock pattern magazines. However, it's also available with 10-round magazines for prohibitive states. This mini revolver is a long-awaited and highly requested model from North American Arms that borrows the tactical look of the Pug revolver and the ease of reload of the NAA Sidewinder models. The NAA Sentinel comes chambered in 22 Magnum with the option for shooters to equip a 22 LR conversion cylinder to suit their preferences. The Sentinel specs highlight its robust stainless steel construction paired with a five-shot capacity signaling durability and reliability. Customers can choose between dot style or tritium front sights, tailoring their revolver to personal preferences or specific use cases. The black pebbled grip ensures a secure hold, an essential feature for a firearm designed for concealed carry. From Smith & Wesson's Performance Center, the 8-shot 9mm Model 327WR is the design that allowed Jerry Misalik to set a world record hitting six steel plates from the draw at seven yards in just 1.88 seconds. Going well past the standard end frame Model 327, the 327WR has a performance center fitment for a smooth double action trigger, a titanium cylinder with an eight round capacity, a five inch ported stainless steel barrel, and a smooth double action trigger. Other features include a brass bead front and adjustable rear sight package, an optic plate system, and JM Signature Laminated Wood Grips. In addition, it also comes with the core optic plate system for revolvers that allow you to mount a wide range of red dot optics available on the market. And yes, it ships with the Vortex Comp Dot AMOA Red Dot built around a very large sight window that delivers greater peripheral vision and increases speed for follow-up shots. Only 1,880 units will be made. You've likely heard the hype around IWI's newest offering, a striker-fired G19-sized optics-ready pistol for an actually affordable price point. Manufactured with fiberglass-reinforced polymers, the rugged IWI Masada Tactical was designed to withstand military use and comes highly recommended as a modern carry or duty firearm. Roughly the same size profile as the Glock 19, this gun is good to go right from the box. However, while both pistols are chambered for 9mm, the Masada Tactical boasts a standard capacity of 17 plus 1 rounds, while the Glock 19 is isolated at 15 rounds. It features front slide serrations to improve racking, a low profile barrel that reduces recoil, fully ambidextrous controls, a textured grip, and three interchangeable back straps to fit hands of all sizes. This model also has an integrated Picatinny rail and a low profile threaded barrel for reduced perceived recoil. And that's just scraping the surface. There are so many features and perks to recommend the IWI Masada Tactical, which is a good thing, because we like being spoiled. While Wilson Combat cut its teeth on custom 1911 pistols, the company has branched out into other types of firearms over the years. In 2016, the company introduced an all-new from-the-ground-up handgun design with the EDC X9. The standard EDC X9 was only the first step, though, and as we've seen with other flagship pistols, the engineers at Wilson Combat have shaped platform into even more ideal concealed carry gun. Like the original version, the EDC 2.0 uses a T6 7075 aluminum alloy frame that's similar in size to a traditional compact single stack M1911 frame. On the 2.0 version, the frame is a solid design with improvements made to enhance accuracy and reduce recoil, with Wilson's X-Tac pattern checkering on the front and rear grip straps. Grips are now a customizable, enabling quick fine-tuning for a comfortable and personalized fit. This allows you to create a gun that perfectly matches your shooting style. The X9 2.0 also carries over other features from the original model, like a 4-inch stainless steel barrel, 30 LPI slide top serrations, a fiber optic front sight, and a 3.5 to 4.5 pound trigger pull. Available options include grip material, sights, finishes, trigger length, bilateral safeties, and a dust cover accessory rail. Springfield's popular Hellcat pistol has become one of the most dominant micro-compact 9mm handguns in its peer group. The latest addition to Hellcat's family sports an integrally compensated barrel with a correspondingly ported slide. The single port compensator design is discreetly concealed beneath a scalloped cut on the top of the slide near the muzzle, and the gun's 6.6-inch overall length and 3.7-inch barrel length is not affected by the design. Redirecting gas upwards, it reduces muzzle rise and enhances control, 
resulting in a pistol that delivers faster and more accurate follow-up shots. As with previous versions of the Springfield Hellcat Pro, the gun incorporates a milled slide compatible with shield RMSC pattern red dot optics, and a high-visibility set of sights is included on the gun, featuring a tritium-illuminated front dot paired with a U-notch rear sight. Compared to the company's original Hellcat, the Pro brought some extra length, height, and magazine capacity to the line, giving consumers a concealed carry option that offered a bit more in the way of capability over Springfield's original micro-compact. This duty-sized polymer frame striker-fired 9mm semi-auto pistol is loaded with modern features such as an ergonomic frame with interchangeable back straps and grip panels that are similar in execution to the HK VP9. The frame also has a Picatinny accessory rail over its dust cover and a 20-degree angle on the pistol grip. The pistol also comes cut from the factory, ready to accept any red dot sight that uses the Shield RMSC footprint, while also including a decent pair of iron sights consisting of a plain black rear sight and a front sight with a tritium insert. Like many other contemporary handguns these days, the new SAR-9 Gen 3 slide is also festooned with lightning cuts near the muzzle and towards the forward part of the top side of the slide to help with sight tracking and fast follow-up shots during rapid fire strings. The standard version of the SAR-9 Gen 3 is fed from 17-round double-stack magazines, but like all of the SAR-9 Gen 3 family, it can accept magazines with capacities of 21, 17, 15, and 10 rounds. A company renowned for its rifles has branched out into handguns with a reimagined design. With the thinnest profile and lowest bore axis in its class, the Daniel H9 is designed and engineered to give shooters more control for faster, flatter shooting. While sharing the ergonomics, pointability, and straight pull trigger with the classic 1911, the Daniel H9 has everything demanded of a modern striker-fired handgun, like ambidextrous controls, an accessory rail, optics compatibility, and more. Contributing to the handgun's slimness is a 15-round double-stack magazine, which is among the thinnest in the industry. The aircraft-grade aluminum grip keeps the H9 exceptionally durable and surprisingly lightweight, and as with every Daniel, it's all built around a cold hammer-forged barrel for unparalleled precision. Of course, the H9 is designed to accommodate many popular red dot optics as well, but the sights it comes with will do the job putting shots on target and can stand up to most any paces you put the H9 through. Canik just upped its game in a big way. The Canik TTI Combat leverages a partnership with Terran Tactical Innovations for an upgraded variant on the popular Canik platform. And this one absolutely impressed. It comes out of the box ready for anything you wish to throw at it, from USPSA to concealed carry. The heart of the Canik TTI Combat is the new polymer frame. It features a redesigned competition magazine well and double undercut trigger guard, aggressive grip texturing, redesigned interchangeable back straps, and changeable magazine releases add a distinctive look and utility. An ambidextrous slide release, Picatinny rail, and a flat-faced 90-degree trigger stand out. A bronze Cerakote over black nitride finish makes for a striking blaster. On top of the pistol incorporates front and rear cocking serrations. The 4.6-inch barrel comes fluted and rides within a ported slide. A removable barrel compensator features a proprietary quick-locking, unlocking system. The optics-ready pistol also works with the Mechanic M03 and Trijicon SRO. An adjustable blacked-out rear sight and fiber-optic front sight provide a backup to optics. In true Canic fashion, the pistol ships with a custom TTI combat holster and two 18-round magazines. A Terran Tactical Innovations Plus 3 base pad extension should get shooters up and running. A sped loader, three backstrap options, a cleaning kit, and commemorative challenge coin all come in a Canic hard travel case. When Smith & Wesson introduced the Bodyguard 380 in 2010, it caught the attention of many people who were looking for a small, easy-to-carry defensive pistol. Now Smith & Wesson is introducing the next generation of micro-sized handguns, the Bodyguard 2.0. How does it compare to the original model? The Bodyguard 2.0 boasts a new profile, has a higher capacity, and includes modern enhancements designed for concealed carry. Chambered in 380 auto, the pistol ships with a flush-fit 10-round magazine and an extended 12-round magazine, giving the user substantially more capacity. And models will be available with or without a thumb safety. 
The Bodyguard 2.0 has an overall height of 4 inches, a width just under 1 inch, and weighs in at 9.8 ounces unloaded. It also includes a striker-fired design and new flat face trigger for better consistency for more accurate shots. Out of the box, the pistol ships with a black U-notch rear sight and a bright tritium insert front sight, allowing the user to rapidly acquire and stay on target.